Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example for solving first order, order differential equations where the first do not appear to be separable, or the variables don't appear to be separable. When making a small substitution, we can make it into a separable type of equation. So here we have y prime equals y minus x quantity squared. And so the obvious way to solve this one would be to say, well, let u equal y minus x which means that y therefore can be written as u plus x or dy dx is equal to du dx plus 1. Alright, so if we make that substitution in here, let's see what we get. So y prime can be written as, well, which is the same as u prime plus 1, u prime plus 1. So for ease, let's just go ahead and write it like that. So the left side becomes u prime plus 1 equals the right side becomes u squared. All right, so how do we go ahead and work that? So let's write this as du dx, because y prime, or u prime is du dx, is equal to u squared minus one. I moved the plus one over to the other side, so now I can go ahead and separate the variables. I can write du divided by u squared minus one is equal to dx. And at first you say, well, how do you integrate that? But it turns out that's a relatively easy integral. The left side becomes 1 half times the natural log of u minus 1 divided by u plus 1 is equal to x plus a constant of integration. All right. So how do we simplify that? Hmm. Let's see, let's take the antiderivative of both sides. Well, first of all, multiply both sides by two, which means we get the natural log of u minus one divided by u plus one is equal to, multiply both sides by two, we get two x plus c2, because c1 is, c2 is twice c1. Now we take the antilog of both sides, so we have e to the natural log of u minus one over u plus one, is equal to e to the 2x plus some constant of integration, which can be written as u minus 1 divided by u plus 1 is equal to, well, this becomes some constant of integration times e to the 2x. Now what we can do is multiply both sides by u plus 1. So this becomes u minus 1 is equal to u plus 1 times c e to the 2x. And of course, continuing to simplify this, so the next we can write this as as follows. Let's multiply this out and see what we get. So we end up at u minus 1 is equal to u times c e to the 2x plus c e to the 2x. All right. So now the next thing we can do is write it like this. Bring this over here. So we have u minus u times c e to the 2x is equal to c e to the 2x plus 1. Now on the left side, we can factor out a u. So we can write this as u times 1 minus c e to the 2x is equal to c e to the 2x plus 1. Divide both sides by this, so we get u is equal to c e to the 2x plus 1 divided by 1 minus c e to the 2x. Now we substitute for u, we can write y, uh, instead of u, we can write y minus x. So we have y minus x is equal to, I'm going to multiply the denominator by minus 1 and the numerator by minus 1. So it's minus 1 times c e to the 2x plus 1 divided by c e to the 2x minus 1. Then I can bring the x over there. So we have y is equal to x minus c e to the 2x plus 1 divided by c e to the 2x minus 1. And again, if you work a problem out like this and you don't have the same format for the answer, it really doesn't matter. It's just preference. But this is kind of clean. It's kind of a neat way to write it. But there's probably a lot of other ways in which you could simplify this particular problem and come out with an answer that looks drastically different, but is still completely correct. 
In this case, however, you do have y on one side, all the x's on the other side, which is the preferred way of writing, and that ends up being the solution to this original differential equation. Again, we were able to solve it by making the substitution that y minus x can be written as u, then du dx can then be written as, or dy dx can then be written as du dx plus 1, substitute that back in, and you end up with a form that is indeed factorable. Now, some of you may say, well, how do you know that this is that? Well, that's something you either memorize or what you could do is you can go ahead and take the derivative of this and see if you end up back with the original equation. And it turns out you will do that when you try that. But anyway, that's how you do a problem like this. Some good examples of how to solve, how to solve first order differential equations using the technique of separa separation of variables. But first, of course, you need to make the necessary substitution. And that's how it's done.